depression can lead to depression. Repressing emotions related to past traumas or wounds can greatly affect our ability to implement change and face new situations or face the same situations that cause those uh, traumas or wounds, right? When we don't process our emotions, they become trapped within us, within our subconscious mind, like a block weighing us down that we can't see. And uh, when this happens, it can lead to our body and mind feeling stuck, stuck either physically or emotionally. Like you just can't move from where you are now to where you want to be. And uh, this processing is very important and it's one of the main focuses of my work. By listening to people without judgment or conclusions, they're able to work through that uh, processing, get it started, right? And then by doing this, they begin to grow their self-awareness, self-awareness of um, themselves and their struggles, which can lead to uh, even more self-awareness of why they uh, can't move forward, why, what they fear, what they're battling, what their situation actually is and what it can be. And uh, it'll just lead to more clarity and purpose in their lives. Remember, it's never too late to begin this process of acknowledging your emotions. By doing so, you can begin to move forward in your life and finally get to where you want to be.